Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Music Scrap, the musical scrapper. And it's a stormy Monday here on the east coast of Canada. I'm 30 minutes from the Atlantic Ocean and about 30 minutes from the Bay of Fundy as well, which is famous for the highest tides in the world. And they fill in, the tide comes in about 50 feet in about 15 minutes. So very strong tides. Um, we also have had a very famous, almost wonder of the world. It just missed out in the boat of the new seven wonders of the world. Um, the Hopewell Rocks, one of our rocks, actually collapsed this week, last week. Uh-huh. So. Anyway, so my niece is graduating from the Royal Military College this spring. So this is going to be part of her graduation present, along with some cash. And, um, oh, dang it, I missed a, oh well. Anyway, so this is going to be her present. It's an altered book. It was a book. And, um, yeah, I know it's creaking. You have to work in the spine. So last week, I glued the pages. I was originally going to leave the color, cover and I forgot how much mess the gluing was going to make. I wasn't nearly careful enough. <laughs> I should have taped it all the way around the cover. But that's okay because I have an idea now. Yes, exactly, Sophia. Just, there, there are like a four, I think there are four huge, you have to go, you actually, in low tide, you can actually go down and you actually walk on the sea floor, on the bottom of the sea and when it fills in it comes in about 50 feet so you don't want to be down there when the tide starts coming in let me tell you they blow a horn like half hour or an hour before the tide starts coming in and you have to leave you have to go back up anyway hey jan nice to see you nice to see you so last week i glued together the front, so these pages are all glued together. Now I didn't glue together the pages, I just put gel medium along the edges and um, clipped it with clips and it dries your pages shut. Because I'm only going to use the center pages, now I still have to take out pages because I'm going to be adding pictures and and uh, painting them up and stuff so you have to leave room and I didn't do a very good job of pulling that one out for some odd reason not that it matters that much because I can actually yeah that first page I'm going to do a specific treatment to it anyway so that's okay so what I'm going to do today um, I think I've decided after Dee Dee this morning she inspired me in what I'm going to do to the book instead of leaving it. Yes, there's texture, but that'll just add to it anyway. I'm going to give it the treatment that Dee Dee did with her book this morning. But, hey Bren, nice to see you. Luscious is, is Lisa. Lisa G, I call, kind of, actually I'm going to call her LG now. Because she's Lisa and we have sweet Lisa who comes in. So, <clears throat> Luscious is now LG. <laughs> oh, that doesn't sound good when you say it. LG. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> uh, anyway. Oh, you do. You put mayo. Oh, yeah. didn't even notice you change it, Linda. Linda, that you're now mayo. Ha, <laughs> cool. Hey, Sophia. <laughs> Yay, mayo. Yeah, I gave I gave Linda that name because we had like four Lindas or something. So her name is Linda May and her last name starts with O. I won't say it just in case she doesn't want it out there. So I call her Mayo. Hey, Ella. Okay, Marion. Oh, Marion too? So if you're watching us uh, live on my... Uh, excuse me, if you're watching the recording... <laughs> on YouTube. We are recording live on Ustream.tv slash channel slash music scrap without an A. M-U-S-I-C 
SCRP because I am the typo queen and missed the A when I signed in. But anyway, not going to change it now. And um, so I'm the musical scrapper on YouTube. Well, if you're watching on YouTube, obviously you know that. <laughs> but there are live people in the chat over here, so you'll hear me talking to them sometimes. And they talk to me and I answer their questions. So anyway... Yeah, hi, Bren, yeah. Um, so I'm going to test out that on my cover, but I think I'm going to do it last um, because I can see it getting messed up as I work in here. And I am going to put gold on my edges, the edges of the book. That's going to happen last as well. Uh, so anyway, I thought I would start by tearing out some pages here. So I just chose some pages in the middle. And because I'm going to be adding pictures, I'm not going to do a whole lot of pockets with pictures that she can take out. Um, she does do scrapbooking and all that kind of stuff. But um, she's in the Navy. And so hopefully she'll have this and take it out occasionally to show friends and things like that. And I just don't want pictures and photos to get lost and misplaced. So the pictures that I put in here are going to be um, basically just on the page. And I'm just taking out a page every here and there so that there's extra space so the book will still kind of close. So I made sure to leave enough that I would have enough space to take out some pages in the middle here as we go. Just because I want her to be able to close the book in the end. And of course I'll keep these pages and use them, although I have tons, tons of books to tear up in here. So. Debbie keep trying Debbie sometimes you stream is just stubborn and if you went from if you went from the Facebook link don't come don't try to come in from the Facebook link because that's usually when people have trouble getting in go to your browser and just click in click on dashboard under your icon picture on the right hand side um, at the top of the screen up here You'll see your little icon, and there's a drop-down arrow. Click on Dashboard. Then on the Dashboard, click on Explore, and it'll come down. If click on Following, and then it'll take a little bit. It takes a little while, but your following list of everybody you follow will pop up, and then it'll show me on top as live. Or just come in and type in Music Scrap, M-U-S-I-C-S-C-R-P, and it'll find me for you. If you come in from a link, that's sometimes. Um, I... Th Let me look. Glued. Why? You're glued, I think. Yeah, I can feel the glue. Hey, Andrea! Hello, hello. I enjoyed your picture of the, your poor, I mean your video of your poor puppy. Like, poor puppy getting kicked out of his own bed. Poor thing. I miss seeing you around. Oh, I see. Okay. Gotcha. I got gotcha, you, Carol. Gotcha. That's okay. I can always I can always add some tape. Where's my white? <laughs> Where's my white? 
Mm. I don't want to use green painter's tape. Where's my rolls of white? Just a minute. I've got white. Hmm, what the heck? Where'd they go? I wonder if they fell down behind. Oh, there they are. Woohoo! I'll use these. Ugh. This is just white hockey tape. I'll use that down each, the center of each page. So that'll kind of hold them to each other. Okay, gotcha. Thank you, Carol, for that. Thank you, thank you. I, I, I chose this particular book well because it's one I had it and it was a cheap one. I didn't want to really... That was why I bought it, because it was only 50 cents, and I was like, oh, it was a good thickness. It's one I can use. Okay, so I'm going to start with a page, the layout here. And I have a plan already. This first layout that I'm going to do is inspired by... Um, a couple of layouts that Vicky Pompelier, I, she's from Greece. Vicky Butterfly, basically, is her name. And um, I love her art journal style. I think finding her YouTube channel it finally got me. Um, after four years of watching Dee Dee and Paula and being afraid of paint. <laughs> and then I, I kind of, I was like, well, I love Dee Dee's stuff. I love Paula's stuff. But I knew it wasn't my style. So I was kind of like four years of watching them trying to figure out, like, love their stuff but it's not my style so if I do an art journal like what am I gonna do because anyway so part of what got me going was jelly plating because jelly plate got plating got me understanding layers and then watching Vicky I mean realize like oh like because she does like More like, I don't know how to explain it, like realistic pages and style. More kind of closer to like a scrapbook layout type of journal page kind of thing. All right, now, I'm going to do a couple of things here. El Capitan, Debbie says she upgraded to El Capitan, and now no videos work. <gasps> oh, no, well, they, oh, see, I didn't have, um, Carrie, tell her I didn't have any trouble when I upgraded to El Capitan. Um, ask what browser she's trying, she's using. Hey, Bunny. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Bunny. Hey, Michelle. Oh, we've got some people coming in that I missed. Sorry, I, was, <laughs> I wasn't even looking at the people coming in. Yeah. Well, that sucks. That she can't get in. <sighs> hmm. So I've, I've had El Capitan for oh, at least three months. I, I switched to it whenever it came out. Oh, okay, Debbie. Okay. So, Debbie, if you're on your phone, I didn't have any trouble. Um, but actually, come to think of it, that was when I did have start having trouble with Chrome and switched to Firefox. I'm trying to think. No, it was before that. I had to switch to fire. It was before El Capitan. Um, I don't 
don't know what to say. Because I don't have, I'm not having trouble at all with any. I didn't have any trouble at all with mine. Yeah, exactly, Sophia. Vicky is a card maker. And, yeah, so she, she really does kind of come to the journal pages like a card maker slash scrapbooker style. Yeah. And I think that's what spoke to me because I am a scrapbooker and and I've always loved my whole life have loved watercolor and realism even in music I love the classical period I like baroque music too but I love the classical period everything went back to simple straightforward you know in music you said what you meant kind of thing um, back to the basics and so that's kind of I'm not surprised that's the kind of art I like either. All right, I found my roll of wax paper the other day when I was cleaning. Okay, so we need that, and I need that. So it's actually going to go here. So I'm actually just going to take some paper. Hey, Rebecca. Nice to see you. Oh, okay. So she has to, right. She has to make sure, um, she has to make sure she has quick time installed and running. Um, Oh, she may have to go in and allow, oh, I may have to carry, um, oh, she may have to right click and go to global settings and allow her flash player, allow flash player. I don't know if you know how to talk her into getting get in, how to get into global settings though, Carrie. Once you get there, it's probably the same as on a PC. But I remember when I very first got when I first got my um, iMac, my MacBook Pro. Oh, that wasn't what I'm using. Um, I had to go into global settings. Sorry if you're watching. I'm trying to help a fellow Mac person get there videos running um i had to go in when i got my backbook pro i had to actually go into the global settings on flash and um allow my video to play in ustream.tv and youtube and stuff so she can't even watch scripts keeps stopping hmm has she rebooted? <clears throat> okay, she enabled QuickTime. So tell her to reboot Carrie and see if that helps. Tell her to reboot. I didn't have to, I didn't have any of that trouble when I switched, but something may have messed up when she, uh, updated herself. Okay, so, Sorry, I was I thought I had an old maybe white hair to use, but I threw them all out, I guess. Okay. So I'm going to start by I guess I can use this one. This is just a cheap dollar and a brush. What I'm gonna start with 
is going around the outside here. I really don't want to go, I think, I think I'm going to tape off my pages. Okay, she'll reboot after the show. Um, I don't know if she follows me on Twitter or not, or Facebook, but I can help her then. Or right at the end of the show, I can stay, Debbie, stay on after the show, and once I stop recording, I'll talk you through the global settings, okay? So I'm just going along the edge with this tape because <coughs> I really don't want to get black paint on the edges because my edges are going to get gold at the end of all this. And since this is the first page, I don't have the ability to really cover anything with wax paper. So this will just go on and stay on till the end. And that will work. There we go. That will help. Still try not to be too messy, but so I don't have to do the whole page. I'm just doing around the edge. Black paint. Bodie, Bodie McBoatface, <laughs> this is for a new polar exploration ship. My gosh. She says I rock? Okay. <laughs> well, anything I can do, Debbie, to help a fellow Mac user? all the way across the top, did I? <clears throat> oh, Jean. Jean, Jean, Jean. Darn it. One moment, please, because I got a little black on here. I forgot it didn't go across the top. Pa tape. Dang it. Just a little splatter. Oh, well. Too late now. Sorry. <sighs> this is only the second altar book I've ever done. I did one for my sister. And her book was a little thicker, so I was able to put a little hidden compartment in hers. I'm not putting a hidden compartment in my niece's. Okay, bye, Juju. Okay. Here we go. I know I'm not the neatest person, so this is a good i this is a good idea for me putting the painter's tape on. Then I don't have to pretend to be neat with my paintbrush. Okay. Hey, Miko. 
Did I? Oh, I have. Darn it. I have an extra page. Oh, no, I don't. Okay. This is a second. I gotta make sure I get the right page. This one. Yeah, okay. And I'm like, oh. So I just have to be careful on the. Hmm. On the top. Okay. Sorry, guys. I need to do some more tape. This is a work in progress. This is real life. If you're watching the recording, you can fast forward past this part. I don't edit out my stream when I send it to YouTube because editing two to three hours of video is more than I'm willing to do. Plus, I want people to see my process. I'm just going to put tape up along here. Because this page, I may not want to be black. So I'm just going to cover it. Protect it. <laughs> it is a gift. If it was just a journal for me... I wouldn't necessarily care as much, although I would care because we were talking about this the other day with Paula and stuff, but she says, you know, her journals are her places where she makes mistakes. Well, not that I don't make mistakes, I do, and try and fix them and work them into my page or whatever, but it's not, my art journaling isn't really practice for me because... It's the only place I do any work, art. It's the only place I do any art. So to me, this is my art. I don't practice my art journaling so that I can put something on a canvas. Because I know Dee Dee does that. Like Dee Dee does canvases from her journal pages and things like that. I This is my art. So I like it to be... The expression that I want it to be. Uh -oh. This is a gift, so I definitely want it to be what I want it to be. So I'm working, for those of you who have come in since I was talking about this, I was late starting, so you haven't missed as much as you think. <laughs> I am working on my altered book gift which is for my niece who is graduating from military university royal military college here in canada it's called royal military college but it is a university they do get a diploma four-year diploma degree i should say not a diploma they get a four-year uh, a degree She'll have a degree in business management, I believe hers is. But she'll also go into Mars training. So this brush is a little too uh, soft to be using with acrylic paint, but it also gonna takes I'm gonna take some of the black paint off here before I put it in my water, so it doesn't totally destroy my water when it goes in. Let's dry these. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah. 
Okay, my tongue's sticking out there. It does. It, is, it doesn't really matter that much because it is. You'll see what's gonna happen anyway. But <sighs> may have to fix the black a little bit after anyway. Glad you got here. I was a little late starting, so you haven't really missed a whole lot. I just got some wax paper down, said my hellos. I was cleaning my desk when I first came on, so didn't really miss a whole lot. Joan. Nice to see you. All right, so now I'm going to take the page. Well, I may have to add a little bit more black because I think I tore that too close or too far in little farther in than I wanted. So like I said, I was inspired for this layout by Vicky Pomperelier. Sorry, Vicky. <laughs> I don't think she subscribes, but anyway. She, uh, Inspired this layout that I'm doing as the kind of, I guess, first page of the book. I guess I should have only put it down so far anyway when I knew I was going to do this, silly girl Jean. I put some white tape down the center to kind of help make sure my book doesn't totally fall apart on me. To fix up the black a little bit. That's okay. Okay. a little bit more. All right, so now what I want to do here is I'm going to take a paintbrush. I'm going to put a little bit of water, spritz a little water here, and I'm going to curl up the corner. And then he gone. Oh, I should have used a wooden one, not a plastic one, but I'll take it out. I think it'll stay. I forgot to do something first. Okay, when I go to turn my paint spinner, I'm going to have an avalanche here if I'm not careful. Okay, hold on a moment, please. That's my greens. I don't think that's not the side I want. 
Um, darn it. Maybe I'll use, yeah, I think I will actually use my archival potting soil. Or do I want, all right, let's see if I want potting soil or if I want sepia. Sorry, I've got to move my wax paper out of my way. There we go. Let's see. Let's test it out. Let's see which I want. Do I want sepia or do I want potting soil? It won't be that dark when I put it on. Hmm, I think I'll go for the sepia, actually. And I need my, just a moment, I've got my sponges back here somewhere. Oh, there they are. Hey, CB. Hey, Glenda. Oh, no, CB's into the peeps. We're not going to be able to calm her down at all, are we? Okay. I'm going to do the edges of the pages here. I know, CB, is what I said last week. It's starting to look, look a little bit like Dee Dee's gun. <laughs> Uh-oh. What are you trying to climb, Kitty? Paula's trying to climb Mount Everest in here. Got one huge corner left to do, but I still have to finish the closet because I didn't get much done yesterday like I should have. Anyway, <sighs> gotta take advantage of the fact my legs are okay. Not doing too badly these days. You gotta get stuff done when they're feeling okay. I can always go back after I curl it and fix the curled ends, but let's get the edges done for now. I've got to come in and fix the black down here anyway. And I've got to cut this away up here. Up at the top. Cut away the tape. And the book. Page. In the center here. Gonna get glued down, but okay. So fix up the black at the end. All right. So where did my? Okay. So let's do a little more. <clears throat> I'm going to put this here because I'm going to be spraying. Oh, gosh. <sighs> Don't these people know I stream on Mondays? Gosh. Oh, my okay. It's Margaret wondering if I'm going to be around this weekend, and I'm going to Mom's the next weekend instead. Can't afford two weekends in a row, so... So I th originally I thought it was going to be 
not streaming next Monday, but now it looks like I will be, but probably not the Monday after that. So, So what this is going to be, this is going to be a graduation present, part of her present, along with some cash, and it's going to be for her pictures um, from her four years at university. So the first page is actually going to be her graduation picture. So... Margaret probably wants to get her together for some more art. Well, I'll get together for art with her if she helps me finish clean. Ooh. Just a moment, please. Cleaning. So, So I'm offering her equal time. I'll help her with her project. She has a project. It's worth 25% of her mark. And her prof said if it's creative, she, they only have to do five pages of written work. So I said, hey, yeah, I'll help you. Be done. That's all right. Rebecca, just call them by their name and they'll introduce themselves. We're all friends here. We're all friends. Now, I am also going to put um, this rolled up, these uh, folded up and rolled up parts. They are all, I'm also going to put some medium over them, so matte medium, so they'll stay sturdy and won't get all too squished and stuff like that. So I want to do a little bit of a tear here. Try not to spritz too much. I should have had a smaller spritz bottle. I want to do that more just like a fold. Oh, hey, Carrie. Tim, hello, Tim. Happy Monday. It was a long, extra long weekend here for our teachers. Most of the schools in the three provinces, Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, and PEI, most, a lot of schools were canceled and closed today.
<laughs> I've been around longer, Rebecca, so I only have to learn the new peep people. So. <laughs> Oh, it's community living. <sighs> They're coming around, pick up stuff, but I don't have any stuff ready to donate, so. One more corner here to spritz up and curl. There's my paintbrush. Okay, now before I glue this, these down, see these are going to get glued down there, but the curled parts will stay curled. I'm not going to go put the glue right to the edges, but I need to fix up this black right here because it got messed up, but I don't need my huge, I don't need my huge black, my huge one for this, except I do want a flat brush. I'll use this one. They're out there doing some shoveling. I don't know if you guys, so if you guys hear any crashing and banging, they're shoveling the uh, staircase of my upstairs neighbor and my walkway out there. Seems to be blowing around more than it's building up. I did take a picture. I'll tweet it after I, after my stream, but. Here. I don't want I need to add a little more over here. Cause it's going to be rolled up so I want to make sure that it goes past the part that you're going to see under there. All right. Okay. Heat gun! We're talking about old commercials and old cigarette commercials I guess. By the sound of it. Oh, hold on. I didn't get. Oh, well, I guess I can just make sure that that goes all the way down there. Yeah. Oops. Oh, I have to because I forgot something down here. Yeah, it's still snowing here too, but it's blowing around. We've got a few inches. I think it's supposed to snow right in through to this evening. But, uh,
Carrie's throwing Eileen the keys to the mini burr. Like we need that. I don't think she needs the keys to the mini burr. It gone. already getting glued down with the uh, thanks to the paint but I'd really rather use a uh, matte medium oh yeah I was gonna use one of these for a glue brush because they're cheap all right Oh shoot, I forgot to go get around and fix this. Darn it all. So let's open it up. Let's see if I can find my... Well, these will do. These are very pokey. My tweezers. Alright, let's see what we got here lock in the way. That should open it up. So it went right through. There we go. Take away the part that was uh, blocking it and get the glue off my tweezers so they don't stick together. Uh, so if you're watching this live, this is what happens when you're working. Things get clogged. You know, I mean, sometimes, yeah, it's nice to be able to sit down and watch someone do something in 10 minutes. But let's not forget, if you're watching something that took 10 minutes, it probably didn't take 10. And well, it wouldn't have taken 10 minutes if they do it speed. So... This is real life. There, my matte medium is no longer clogged. Except I need to get the clog out of there so it'll close next time. Come on. So it happens when you don't get it closed fully once and it dries in the cap. There we go. That'll fix that. Tweezers are a great tool. Okay. Wow, Jean. Now it works. <laughs> Okie dokie. Now, I don't want the whole thing to be down on purpose. On purpose. I don't want the whole thing going down. So, I'm putting it on both pages. Both sides. I am going to be putting color and stuff on this and gesso and whatever. So it will be for the most part, a lot of that wording will be covered up. Okay. I didn't take the stuff off the outside of this part of it so it still won't close I don't want to have to do the 
this again. So I'm peeling off. It's cool. Quarter after six and it's still light out there. Woohoo. That's what I like. Sorry, I'm off screen. I'm just trying to unstick my glue container here because I left it once and it's totally my fault. But fast forward. If I wait to the end of the show, it'll be all clogged again by the end of the stream. It mostly closes all. Do the rest of it later. Okay. Before this dries. So for those of you who have come in since I started this, I was inspired by some of Vicky Peepop. Anyway, Vicky P from Greece. She does has done a couple of layouts on her in her journal with this type of a page and I've been wanting to do it forever so this seemed like I don't know where that came from oh yeah I found it on the floor when I was cleaning it ended up on my desk just a minute Need to get some right under there. Thanks, you, Ella. Talking about what they call spaghetti. I'm not going to say it. I know a lot of kids say that. Apparently, Eileen still call, starts it with a P instead of an SP. Poor Eileen. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, I want to get that. <laughs> Though I don't mind glue on my hands as mine as much as I mind paint, but matte medium is good. Okay. All right, so there's the start. I have to do the edges again at the end just to um, let's get this black out of my way. Now, I am going to use, hmm. gesso I'm just going to dry this while I'm thinking whether I want to use clear gesso or if I want to use white gesso I do want some of the words to come through my color that I'm going to add hmm. 
do, huh? clear gesso and then I can use my so if something on this side and then this side is going to get this side is going to get her this will be her photo this side will get the title in the drawing so um yeah I think I want to use my clear gesso. I finally got some clear gesso. So this is Tri Art Clear Gesso Acrylic Medium. And it stinks really badly. I only, I haven't used it yet. I only opened it enough to, uh, Opened it enough to smell it. Thanks, Carol. Isn't that cool? I love it. I've seen her. She, she's done one a couple of pages like this. And ever since I saw it, I'm like, oh, I have to find a way to use it. Because it's just so cool. So... And I don't even care. There's a few little wrinkles in that, but that doesn't bother me at all. I just want to stiffen those up a little bit. I think I'll, I think I'm actually going to put some gel medium on them at the very end. I didn't open it to sniff it. I sniffed it when I opened to opened it to have a look at it. I guess I said that wrong. I opened it to just have a look at it, and I sniffed. I could smell that it smells horrible. Okay, that's what I meant to say. I did not open it to sniff it. <sighs> Sorry, I have to clarify that for Eileen. Yeah. Late for the. She comes late to class. And then she still makes trouble. Sheesh. So that's a nice medium. Very nice. I like it. I like it. A nice clear gesso. Very nice. Okay. I need to find a nice little bottle to put it in because I don't like having to keep opening underneath it it keeps sliding off <gasps> oh, oh and now i have an avalanche on the other side oh, oh. hey jen nice to see you oh yeah i know cb it smells like vanilla or something black stays on So I'm going to put a very thin coat of cream on it. I didn't want to use white gesso because I want to keep the color of the, like the pages. Hey LJ, I don't think I saw you come in. <laughs> yeah, no Ella, she doesn't want to see my grade book for her. We're not allowed to give failing grades anymore.
so And I want to also, like, I want to cover up that tape, too, that I put there. <clears throat> it's a cloth tape, so it should take paint nicely. It's hockey tape. They put on their sticks. found it the other day. Where'd it go? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Where did you go? Okay. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Ah. Okay. So this is unbleached titanium to Sayers. Sayers is an art store in Canada, Canadian art store. Poor Jen's on the iPad. And I know how tough that is to try to uh, follow. All right, I want to, I'm just going to wet my brush a little bit more here. So I want this to be thin enough to leave some words coming through, but just to start a little color. on that. I do want the Okay, layer 1. Yeah, it would, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that make a great sunflower center? Sure would. Heat gun. Paula. It is, um, it was, I got it through eye stencils. It's a Alex Hansen one. He makes some great, isn't that cool? Love it. That was down on the floor. That wasn't this last purchase. This was, that was my, the purchase before. And it, Oh, you're reading one of Jonathan Kellerman's? Yeah, I'm, um, his wife, Faye Kellerman, writes an amazing series as well, Ella. Um, hold on. One moment, please. I'm going to move back a little bit. Okay. Um, Faye Kellerman is his wife. And she has a whole series of, it's a cop and his wife, well, it's about he and his wife, but he's the cop. But they're, um, uh, Orthodox Jews. It's very interesting. Learn a lot about the Orthodox Jew culture. It's very cool, actually. Oh, 
Oh, you have, Ella? You've read all those? Because I'm on number 22 or 23 now. Of course, I listen to them on audiobooks. But. Okay, so now I need a stencil. I'll find my stencil before I start to... Uh, I put the paint on. What stencil do I want to use? Ooh, I've got some sitting here, but I think the one I want is in actually put away. Where it should be. I'm just going to make sure. Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Oh no! 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 Don't drop it! Don't drop it! Just a minute. I've got to somehow put a handle on this because it's so heavy I can hardly pick it up now. Oh, I've got too many stencils. Okay, so do I want that one or do I want... Hmm. Huh. Do I want circles or do I want diamonds? I might use this one. I just may have to get the six inch. Uh... Oh, no, 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 no. I think I have to do. Hold on. Oh, oh I have to do this one, I think. Oh, it's stuck. I'm going to do this one. <clears throat> my stars too. We'll see. No, that's the one I want. <laughs> Put my patty stencil back here. I've got to, uh, I've got to fix my organizing stencil organization here because it is a bit of a mess on me. Just a minute. If I don't get this put down right, it's going to uh, fall over. One moment, please. Oh, I've got a little table that it sits on. And I have to get it closer to me. Except I've got an envelope that's in my way. Dang it. There we go. I've still got a few piles that I have to get rid of. So let me get this here. I hope to get a couple of pages done in here today, so I may need these stencils again. I'm going to take those envelopes out of there because they're being a pain. I may need a few of those. <clears throat> okay. There. Okay, sorry. I apologize. Today's a little bit of a mess. This is Crafter's Workshop stencil, I believe. Okay. So I'm going to use my red blue PBO Dyna red blue. Need to get a new container because the little rubber mouth of this is so 
it's kind of torn up a little bit and it Welcome back, Lynn. Yay. Sorry, today I seem to be very distracted and unable to keep up with the chat. Not sure why. Very distracted. I got my tax rebate. So, trying to make that final decision of whether I want to use part of it for buying, upgrading my Mac. The Mac I have is six years old, still works great, but they have a wonderful new... kind of cool you can still see the you can still see the text Oh, Jen, that's too awful. <gasps> oh. If I'm going to use these, I might use those on a different page. I wanted it to kind of look like a flag. So that kind of turned out the way I wanted it to. Now, I want to, um, for a moment her page her picture can go right on that but I have a journaling thing that I want to stamp so I think I don't want to use heavy papers so I think what I'm going to do is get some more of this out get the stamp So these are some Unity stamps that I got a while ago. I lost 
lost a foot off my Martha Stewart. This is a Martha Stewart little thingy, and it's a pain because I lost a little foot off it. I'm going to have to try and kind of make one. But... So I just use it the other way. <laughs> I just use it upside down. So I'm going to, first of all, before I rip it and tear it, I'm going to paint it first. Oh yes, Jen. I knew whenever uh, Mandy, the time Mandy streamed, and Amelia was in the kitchen with her, and she was 18 months old, and she was going after her um, punches and her ink pads, and Mandy had her ink pads in little slotted things, and she was taking the ink pad taking it off, using it, putting the cover back on properly on the ink pad and putting the ink pad back away. I knew right then and there that Amelia was going to be trouble for her teachers because that is a sure sign that with that having that hand-eye coordination at 18 months old is rare. I knew right then and there she was going to be ahead of the crowd. I warned Mandy at the time. Said, you watch out. Teachers are going to have to work to keep her busy. My niece was the same way. My niece drew a little turtle from the top side that looked 3D when she was like four years old. That's Stacia, my oldest niece. The one that lived with mom and dad. Oh, I think I may want to do that a little more solid because I think I want it to be more solid. I may have to do a second coat. Maybe I should have done a coat of gesso first. Let me dry it so I can do a second coat. Heat gun! <laughs> that so sounds like yeah. Yep. Sure sign. <sighs> sure sign of boredom. That's why, like, that's why some kids who are so creative and. So so active like Amelia. I mean, she was always dancing and singing to her like videos and and I mean, she had no she had no problem keeping herself entertained and then all of a sudden, we put them in a classroom <laughs> where they're supposed to sit down and pay attention to the teacher and only be creative when it's time for them to be creative. It's a tough adjustment. And yes, they have to learn how to do it. But it's tough. It can be very tough. Oh, yeah. Bye, Juju. Yeah, exactly, Jen. She doesn't know how to listen. She's not used to. She's smart enough to learn, though. The teacher keeps her in from going out to play enough. 
she's smart enough to make that connection. If I follow the teacher's rules, I'll be able to get out there and play. Yep, they have to learn. That's tougher for some kids. Uh, uh. Oh, yeah, Carol. Uh, yeah? Okay. So, I'm going to use my... Archival ink here. I think I'm going to make sure. It's the first time I've used it, so I'm just going to stamp it out on another page first because I don't want to have to paint it out again. I just want to make sure it's going to stamp well. Unity stamps. Love their rubber stamps. I only get them when they have sales on. <laughs> they had a really good sale in October, I think it was. Oh, no, it was longer ago than that. It was May. It was May when I got the good deal, I think. Their spring sale. <laughs> Heck, that's almost a year ago now. Jeez, Jean. What are you thinking? Looks good. I like that. Now I have this other one. I think my here's the story. I'm going to do these as two separate entities. So it says, here's the story. It's not perfectly stamped, but I shouldn't have done it right in the center, because then I could have done a second one. So let's heat gun it. <clears throat> heat gun! Of course, I'm a public school teacher, so... I really don't understand the whole homeschooling night thing, but anyway, that's okay. If it works for people, it works. Of course, Canada has a wonderful school system, so I don't think there still are people who homeschool here, obviously, but let me tell you, we've had some of them come to school from homeschooling many, many years behind because huh, 
<clears throat> anyway, we won't go into that. I don't want to get myself in trouble. Because I know there are lots of good homeschoolers out there. There are also some very bad ones. Ooh, ooh. shoot. <laughs> I want to get a little closer than that. Hi, Galena. Closer to the stamp here. Then edge it. This is the archival sepia, yeah, sepia. That's what I thought. That's also what I stamped it in. I wonder if I have enough to stamp that. Here's the story again. I think I do. I'm gonna try it right here. See if I have enough room. If I hadn't been so silly and stamped it right in the middle. Uh-oh, are we having a chat problem? Number five is G. What? What's going on? What's going on, Carrie? I'm number five. Barb is number four. What? going on with chat? I don't have the list open. My chat looks normal. Oh, your Twitter alley? Oh, okay. Okay, I'll have to wait till I'm done, obviously. Someone did cartoons of us? Allie, you did?
<laughs> so I'll be getting a lot of, I'll be getting photos from her Facebook and um, from her four years. I may leave a couple of spots for her to choose her favorite photos. Okay, so here's the page. So her photo will go here. Here's the story. seems to be clogged. Been too long since I've used these. Oh, this is, oh, never mind. Okay. That's because this is the one that is unclogged. That's why. Now, before I glue this down, get my brush marker here. Oh, something green got all over it. I don't know what that happened. Sarah, Michelle, Kelly, R, M, C, Class of twenty of twenty sixteen. So this is Scotch Quick Dry, but it's Scotch Quick Dry Tacky Glue. So, and then her grad photo will go there. It's, I should be getting, they, my sister has them, so I'll be getting them when I go home next weekend. My copy. All right, so now I'm going to go back around this again. Like I said, they do scrapbooking, but they don't do a lot of art journaling or anything, so 
I'm going to kind of do it. A little bit of art journaling in with scrapbook pages. So. That's my Vicky inspired page. Vicky P. Also known as Vicky Butterfly because that's what her name means in Greek. No university, Ella? She had to wait two years to get in, but she got her full four year $120,000 uh, scholarship. So her whole four years was paid and guaranteed a job in the Navy when she was done. So, yeah, she's done awesome. She she was also on the volleyball team. She made the volleyball team this year. She's like five feet tall, five foot spitfire. She's all muscle, let me tell you. She may look tiny, but she's solid as a wall. And she made the varsity volleyball team this year. And she was also on the Highlands Dancing Squad. So. So she'll be in the, she'll be an officer in the Navy. She'll be, she's got into the Mars program, which is a tough, one, they either, the marriage program is communication and navigation, so she'll, I don't know if, um, we didn't talk about it, and, I don't know if she knows yet which she, which she'll be assigned, uh, whether she'll be assigned communication and navigation, she has a year left of her marriage training, so, yeah, she is. Let me tell you, she swears like a sailor, though. <laughs> she swears like a sailor. I'll tell you. So, that's her first page. Yeah, exactly. Well, the Royal Military College, we, we only have the one. So they, it's Army, Air Force, and Navy, all in the same university. Because, of course, we have a much smaller population and a much smaller... Um, where did I... Oh, there. That's where I felt it went. I don't really want to close this yet. So this is still a little tacky dry but yeah. back to the swatching you're swatching are you Emma okay I don't know what I want to do maybe I'll do a Nano Jumo since I found my Nano Jumo book I'll do a Nano Jumo prompt I have to work on this offline to decide what I what I want to do with the next pages. I'm gonna have to decide which photos I want to before I start doing layouts. So so maybe. I think I'm going to move on. I'm going to leave that open. Move on, move on, moving on down the line. Let's put this back so I don't lose it. Got my spinny thing. Now I'm going to have to open the Nano Jumo website here.
see where I left off. Oh, Margaret agreed to my deal. She will pay me equal time. So if I spend an hour helping her with her project, she'll give me an hour of organizing. Woohoo! Good deal. Okay, there's day 30. I'm not on prompt 30 yet, but any stretch. Okay, where is the... Hold on. One moment, please. Oh, there it is. She does her pages backwards. Because it says next, but it's really the previous page. I think I have to go back one more. Twelve. Scrape paint. Okay, I already did that one. So thirteen. Dreams. Dreams. Okay. Dreams. The prompt is dreams. Yes, Eileen. Oh, yay. Pull the paper out of the ink pad? What? Hold on. Oh, thank you, thank you. It's just a little piece of paper. Thank you. Get my archival ink pad back here. There we go. I got it, I got it. I was looking on another page. I was looking at my prompt. Yay! Go Mandy! Go Mandy! For those of you who haven't heard, if you weren't at Jen's stream, if you are a crocheter, we are going to do a crochet a swap uh, with a temperature of a temperature blanket swatch. So we're going to swap swatches of a temperature blanket. And we're going to, um, Mandy's doing a sample for us. We're going to do 365 rows. So each row will be at the temperature of a day. And you choose different color yarn for each two degrees of temperature. For, so for like 15, 16 degrees Celsius, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, whatever, will be certain colors. Um, I don't know what we're going to do in Canada because it's going to be a lot of colors of yarn we're going to need to go from minus 25 to plus 39 or 40. <laughs> so um, on our low and our high, we may have to do more than two degrees. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Be careful, Eileen, or I'll call you your nickname on my recording. So for those of you who have a, who may not know what Nano Jumo is, it happens in November. That's why it says 2015 here. It happens in the month of November. And it's a national non-stop journaling month. That should actually be a capital N. National non-stop journaling month. And so each day of the month of November, there's a prompt. Well, you're supposed to kind of try and do a little bit of something every day, even if you don't do a full journal page. Well, that's not how I work. When I start a journal page, I like finish a journal page. And so, and I knew I was crocheting in November, Christmas presents. So I knew I wasn't going to be able to do every, all of them. So I'm still working on the prompts. I'm just doing one at a time. So instead of doing it like every day and calling it day 19, I'm just calling it prompt 19 or whatever. So I'm on prompt 12. I skipped one or two of them. It's prompt 13, I think. Yeah, prompt 13. So I'm calling it prompt 13, not day 13. So here was the first prompt. The prompt was, hello, my name is. 
So I did my page. This, by the way, is two. Um, it's a magazine journal because I used two Mary Maxim catalogs. Oh, that one's not a Mary Maxim catalog. I don't know what catalog that is. I cut it down to match my... That's a Mary, that's a Mary Maxim catalog. This is was a something. I cut it down to match the Mary Maxim. <coughs> I just glued two pages together in most cases. Hey, Ange! Yeah, LJ, you use the highest temperature for the day. And so, man, we're gonna we have, we're gonna look it up for the uh, for 2015 for the year of 2015. Look up the highest temperature of each day for 2015, and so each row gets a different. So we and like if there's seven of us in the group, we have to do seven swatches. It's only going to be like 30 stitches by 365 rows, so it's only take going to take a couple of hours for each swatch. So, yeah. So, so these are all the different names I go by. Pizzo was my nickname in university. Camo Magoo, Jean, Sassy Pants, The Musical Scrapper, Miss Pitts from my kiddos, Music Scrap, Wee Heeny. So that's all my names that I'm known by. Yeah. Well, exactly, Jen. Like, I would probably do minus 15 to minus, like, minus 15 and lower will be one color. And then probably, like, my, and then, like, 30 degrees and higher will be one color. Because we don't get those ones as often, right? Because we're going to have so many. Yay, Allie. So the second prompt was just a picture of a rose. So I found this quote that says, A single rose can be my garden, a single friend my world. So I did the world. So that was my quote. And I had to draw Australia in because it wasn't on my globe. And the prompt, this prompt was, I'm really not. So this one is, I'm really not quiet anymore. Because I used to be, like, in school and stuff, and not always at home, but I was, I used to be very quiet. Until I went to university, and I found, I found my teacher voice, and now I'm too loud, and I never shut up. So, when my cousin Sue and I get in the car, the kids could never, they used to get so mad at us. Because <laughs> Sue and I are the same. We both have loud voices. We're both teachers. We both have loud voices, and we both talk a lot so we would be in the front seats of the car going on like this sue and i and the kids would be like daniel be in the back car he's like three years old right be like you guys can i say something <laughs> he would want to talk and he'd get mad at us anyway <laughs> anyway <laughs> so then the next one was a star i think was the prompt it says, shoot for the moon, and if you miss, you will be among the stars. Less brown. Less brown, by the look of it. So that's this stencil. I made this stencil. Oops. So that's the stencil I used on this page. So I did white gesso, and then I used my dilution sprays. And then I used my blue-black, and you probably can't see it on screen, but the sprays are kind of coming through the blue. Yeah, you can see a little bit there. The sprays are coming through even the blue-black, so it really looks like a galaxy. That's really cool. And I, did, I actually did this quote with my white um, gel pen. But the dilution sprays even came up through the white gel pen. That's kind of neat.
Yeah, she's Carrie is coloring right now. <laughs> and because she's coloring. <laughs> That's a good one, Ange. Uh, good one. So then this prompt was, what did you say? So I had some Japanese um, newspaper. Excuse me. Sorry. Let's scratch my back. I had some Japanese newspaper. And the background, it's hard to see, but it does come through. The whole background was originally some Japanese newsprint. So you can see that there is Japanese writing underneath through here coming through as well. And then I've got some cool stamps there. Oh, it was a stencil. 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 And so what did you say? So I've got the Japanese. <laughs> Hi, Ange. Ah. just scribble so there's my scribbling I'm thinking of my page for today while I do this the next prompt was the way to and so, of course, the second I saw that, I thought of the way to Sesame Street. On my way. <sighs> I can see that, Ange. Woohoo! Liven us up. This prompt was just three scratchy houses. So she had kind of three scratchy outline of houses and the minute I saw that I thought of this song who's afraid of the big bad wolf the big bad wolf the big bad wolf who's afraid of the big bad wolf tra la 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 okay Sophia bye bye thank you for coming and then this one was doodle just doodle so I doodled on black cardstock with my white gel pen and my Posca, I think. <laughs> yeah, Allie. Then this one was to scrape paint on a page and then find something. So I found two ugly birds. Or a dinosaur and an ugly bird. A dinosaur with wings, because I thought it was a bird, and then I realized, oh, it looks more like a dinosaur. I should have made it. So it's a dinosaur bird and an ugly bird. <laughs> He's got the body of a bird and a dinosaur head. I hate doing stuff like that, so I was like, yeah, let's get over that really quick. And then this was the last prompt I did. Oh, no, I already did the dream page. Oh, I already did the dreams one. Oh, dang, and here I was coming up with an idea. I forgot I already did the dreams one. Oh, all right, what's the next one? After dreams. Uh, I am. I am. Yep, a dino with bird feet and wings, Eileen. So for dreams, I said, don't dream your life, live your dream. I forgot I did that page. So now I have to do I am. Oh, great. Great. Uh... <laughs> I wasn't drinking. Might have helped me, CB, if I was. All right, I'll just put down my gesso and see what happens. Uh oh. Oh, shoot. One moment, please. Whoops. Hello? Oh, not too bad. Hi, Gail. 
how are you? Good, good. Oh, it's this weekend, okay. I, mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I usually go online, like when I order um, through, um, what's her name? Mar uh, Wood. Anyway, Evelyn, yes. So I, that's who I usually go through because she's online and, and stuff. But yeah, so I wouldn't need one. Well, how much are the catalogs? Because they do have good ideas usually. But does she? Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Oh, right. Right. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, okay. Hmm, I see. Oh, right. Well, that didn't work out very good, did it? <laughs> Well, I'm sorry, I did a dance for Ruth, <laughs> Ruth, Ruth Donald, and I still keep in touch. She is principal down at um, uh, the, uh, Marshville, Marshview, I mean middle. But yeah, and <laughs> so I did, the, I did the snow dance for her, so I guess it worked for everybody. <laughs> Messed everybody up, didn't it? <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so, so it's on Saturday, or? Okay, what time? Sorry, what time? At 10? Okay, 10 in the morning. Perfect. Okay. Uh, no, not on Saturday. Um, well, unless Sue could drive me, I'm not sure. Well, see, poor Susan, my cousin, I don't know if you remember her. She was actually in and applied for you a couple of times before she got her job here. And um, her, her mother in October fell and broke her neck. Yeah, and was in the hospital until a month ago, and her dad ended up in the hospital beginning of December, and he's not out yet with a perforated esophagus. So she's had, and she retired in June. Welcome to retirement. Hey. <laughs> so I don't like to ask her to do anything too much for me because she's, you know, basically taking care of her parents. And anyway, um, yeah, so I don't know... Yeah, well, that if, if you can do that, if you if you want, that would be great. Unless there's someone else you know that's coming that would be coming past me, that would be easier. Oh, okay, all right. And and I mean, I can be ready early enough so that you'd be there to greet people. That's not a big deal. Just let me know what time and. Right. Right. Oh, right. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, okay. All righty. Well, I have no life, <laughs> basically, so just give me a call when you know when you can, you know, and I'll, I mean, I'll be up by, you know, eight that morning anyway or whatever. Just call me. I always have my phone by my bed anyway, but so if it's seven o'clock and you know what time you're coming to get me, you can call me. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. I'll go on and look online and see what's there so I'll kind of know ahead of time. So don't worry about that. Yeah. No. Yes. Right. So you can copy numbers or whatever. But. Yes. Right. Well, I already know a couple of things. Like, I know what I want. I know there's two th I need new blades for my trimmer. I know that. And I'm looking for a black and cream paper line, so I'm hoping they have something. So I have to go in and look, I'll go in and look for that.
that too and see what they have. So. Right. Yes, until the end of March. Mm hmm Right. And I got my tax refund today, so hoo-hoo, I'll have a... I was hoping you were going to have it until I got my refund back. <laughs> I was like, I don't have any money to spend unless my refund comes back. Anyway, so. Okay, yeah, woohoo. <laughs> so, okay, that sounds great. All right, we'll see you Saturday. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye. Sorry, guys. I'm glad I answered it. I didn't recognize the number. I'm glad I answered it because it's a friend of mine who's having a Stampin' Up! party. Stampin' Up! party. She actually, one of my, she's a retired teacher. Excuse me, and she was at my school for three years and we got along really well. I helped her with the elementary musical one year. She always did the drama. And uh, I ran into her at Dollarama a couple of weeks ago. And uh, she's like, oh, I belong to a Stampin' Up! card club. Uh, do you want to come to the party? I'm hosting it in March. I'm like, sure. <laughs> so, so, sorry about that interruption. I apologize for those of you who are watching on the... But I'm glad I answered it because, of course, she could have left a message. But then I'd have to call her back and get a hold of her. And, whew. <laughs> Emma. Yep. So. Yeah, they have like a monthly card club. And each month someone else in the club has to, it plays hostess. So then they get the hostess money. So. sprays but I think before I do that I know I have gesso but I'm actually gonna put a coat of white paint too because I want it to be a little more solid before I put my sprays on <laughs> stuck for ideas Idea. My page is actually going to be just a background, and then I'm just going to put my words on it, and that's it. So it's not really going to be a kind of theme page. Well, it is, but. Oh! I dropped my green. No, I don't want that one. I want blue green. Not green, blue. One moment, please. Where did it go? I got my grabber. There it is. Oh. oh, this grabber doesn't work as good as the other one. And I don't like the way the other one's set up. Set up. Why won't you pick anything up? Silly thing. Alright, I guess I'm going to just have to use it to... Maybe I can get it against the wheel, get it propped up far enough where I can reach it. Oh, I hate having short arms. Ah, okay, got it. Gosh darn it. I need a baby wipe. Green. 
PBO combo and I put way too much green down over here. So I'm going to transfer it over here. Alrighty. So I just want to get a base down of some color before I use sprays. Turn my baby white over. I should have squeezed, should have squeezed it out a little bit better. Because the baby white is a little bit too wet. But oh well. <sighs> Just may have to use my fingers that took too much paint off. <laughs> no, can't do it. Sorry. Can't do it. <clears throat> oh, that's my black. Where is it? background. He come. Welcome back, CD. Isn't that just yummy? Look at that glimmer. Look at that shine. How can you not like that? <gasps> ah. Yummo. adding sprays to this then I'm going to put some white gesso through a stencil on top of the sprays and the sprays will come through the white gesso oh Jen, the Lyra, Lyra would be better than the Reeves. Because I have Reeves too, and Reeves are, like, not even as good as student grade. So your Lyra is probably better than the Reeves. Like, the Reeves are okay, but the Lyra are probably better than the Reeves. Uh, Rebecca, that was PBO Studio dyna paints so it's an iridescent paint this is patty Kelly parish got me hooked on these this is green yellow this is the blue green and earlier on this page on this page see how the blue see how there's blue shimmer in that it shimmers blue that's the red blue dyna quite dry oh I see the spot it's a little thicker there I guess hey Jillian Uh oh 
Jean. <laughs> Bubbled up my paper. Did you guys, you know, that was off screen. It bubbled right up my paper. Still not dry in that spot. Good thing I like texture. Now this is just a, what is that? This side's a double page. This side somehow ended up being a single page. It didn't get um, glued together. I sh somehow I missed gluing two together. So that's just a single page, but whatever. All right, so now I need to find some colors. Oh gosh, where's my roll of wax paper going down the tube? Okay, let's see what colors I want. I want my dial. Oh no, don't tell me that they're not my... I know they're in here. Hold on, I'm going to have to move my cart to get this box out here. Sprays. So I can find my ones I want. Because I thought... Oh no. I thought my... Hmm. That's very strange. Where are my... Huh. Well, I guess I'm going to change the plan on my... Because those won't come up through. Where on earth did my dilution sprays go? I thought they were all in this box. Hmm. These ones won't work because we tried it and they won't work. Hmm. Tried it before and they didn't work. Hmm. I don't know where my dilution sprays are then. Where did they disappear to? on the second shelf. No. That's really weird because I only have three of my, pa I only have four of my Illusions paints too. Two of those are went missing. That's really weird. Really, really strange. <gasps> oh, I was going to try these. When I'm done this page, I, I forgot. I was supposed to try these last week and I forgot. Well, let's see if these work. Okay. I want to use Wild Iris. That's a nice purple. Mm -hmm. Pomegranate. That'll be nice. And let's use this pretty glue. Okie dokie. <clears throat> Save some of that for the mist for the top. All right, let me get these back in here. Okay. <clears throat> okay, these have been not been used in a while and I need to really shake them up and I need to find a nice big stencil well not quite that big one with lots of openings let's see here okay I'm 
going to use this one on the top, my hexagons, but for this layer of sprays, actually I think I'm just going to spray. I'm not going to use the stencil for the sprays because it never works right anyway. So, Hi Sherri Ann! Sherri Ann, also known as Iffy. like I've got that all shaken up. Shook up. I'm all shook up. <clears throat> and, oh, this is a pretty blue. The blue is, you can see that these are the old, the old The starburst and I can't read the color well we're, all we're doing is chain and single crochet LJ chain and single crochet is all you have to know and that's too close to the same color but it might be I'm just hoping it comes up. So, these aren't giving me any color. I guess I should have done it on white. Well, it shall be interesting to see if they come up through. Oh, shoot, and that one's a dauber. I don't want a dauber. <laughs> Let's use this one. Don't even know what color it is. Uh, golden lamp something. Well, I guess that one's clogged. Good job, Jean. Good job. These are all Lindy's. Wow. Big time clog. should be fun. Okay, let's find one that's going to work. I'm going to leave this up here because that needs to get soaked. Let's just pick and choose till I find one that's going to spray. This copper one. I really wanted a purple one though. Dang it all the heck. Green, that's not going to show up. <sighs> well, and the copper's stuck on the bottom. with my page. Darn it all. Oh well. Alright, here's a
more of this turquoise on because it might come up through. All right, let's dry this sucker. <clears throat> I don't have a straw in here. I don't know what I do with my straws. about food and supper. Ella, if I run late, you just start as normal. I have to go out and eat after I do this. Oh, maybe I'll order pizza. It's 50% off pizza today. At Greco. I'll do all this and then it won't even come it won't even come up through the white. You watch. You watch. Well, it's gonna be pretty ugly. You can always glue these two pages together. Ha! Ah! Ah! <sighs> we'll see what comes up through. We'll see which of these sprays. I used a copper one and a turquoisey one. They kind of blended. I think what I'll do once this dries, I think I'll add more of the turquoise. Yeah. Oh, oh, Jean, be careful. This one's only the one sided, so I have to be really careful. Oh, no. Am I ruining that one? That lovely one? Ah. Yay, Ange! I'm still eating stuff I have in the house, so I'm starting my healthy eating. I'm going to make a journal for the Artful Weight Loss group on Facebook. I think I'm going to do, like, I have a mini, actually, I have a small yellow, um, I forgot, I have a small mixed media journal. I think I'll just use that, but I'll just do the cover. I think that's dry enough. You can see there's some cool, there's a little cool purple there. That came out with the, um, hmm. okay, so that's for the top. All right, so I'm going to use, I need a sponge. with those today too darn it i don't have time because ella comes on very shortly <laughs> i forgot i wanted to play with those so we shall see if they're going to come up through the white paint or not i don't think they did the last time i was testing this um, technique, but I guess we shall see, shan't we? We shall see.
Yes, Ange, they are. Um, Paula's guiding us through. It's Paula's Artful Weight Loss page on Facebook. Journal Artista Paula. It's called Artful Weight Loss. And she's giving us prompts to help guide us on our way. Didn't do very well on this right here. It's coming up a little bit through it. I didn't do it the same way Paula does it, but that's okay because you don't have to, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of transformed Paula's idea. shortly. Thank you, Anne. Put that up there for us. I'm at two and a half hours because I was late starting, Juju. Yeah, I'm at two and a half hours, so I've got another, actually, 27 minutes left. Hey, Linda, nice to see you. Yeah, I was late starting, so not bad. That's okay, because the way I did it, the colors all still come through from the background anyway. So it's no big deal. I'm just going to do my words in black paint with my art foamy stamps my numbers but I'm just going to use the foamy thingy here the prompt is I am and I'm just doing a background and I'm just going to put my words the background doesn't really so it's not really like a theme-based page like I usually do. <sighs> so, hmm. so now to find my letters. Look at that. Oh. oh no, I guess it's just the TV. I thought my lights were flickering. I think it's just the TV changing colors. I got the TV on mute. Let's 
so I don't forget the curling at 10. Okay. Now I just need my eye. My eye. Whoops. Don't want to lose the Z. Don't want to lose the Q either. So Linda, here is the other. This is what I did earlier today. Whoops. For those of you who've come in later. Did my first layout in... My altered book. So... I did that first. I should have stopped the recording, I guess, but anyway. Whatever. I didn't, so. Alright, where is my... Oh, I guess I can use a card. My credit card. Where, a card. Where'd my card go? There it is. Alright, so I need my black paint. Thank you. Where did you go? There it is. Oh, that's a different one, but it doesn't matter. <clears throat> so this is my art foamy. At least this week I'm remembering to use my foam pad. be enough because there's not many letters that I have to do. Okay, so. So we'll put the other one down here because I know I need another one right here. I'm gonna get I'm just gonna get a baby wipe, clean baby wipe out to sit these on in between here. Okay. Make sure you get so this alphabet set, I think, was like $18.90 Canadian. Whoa! Well, that's me, a little off-center. I squished it, schmooshed it when I was picking it up.
squish that one too. One moment, please. There we go. Let's try that again. I only get one try at the W. I'm pushing too hard. And then they're not hard enough. You can nicely line them back up again, which I like. They're easy to line up a second time. So that's good. Oh, dang it. Okay, let's get that off there. I didn't even know where the heck I was. I don't know what I was doing there. Okay, let's try that again, Jane. test Facebook because no matter how many times I set it it doesn't do what I want it to do there we go here now I need some black I'm just gonna use snip off this get a nice soft edge. I'm going to use some of this black paint from here and do a nice edge. So guys, go ahead and go over to Ella. I'm running into Ella's time, so don't worry. Go on over. And uh, I started late. And then I didn't realize how late it was. Time goes by so quickly when you're streaming. It's Ella, uh, someone have Ella's link? Um, just a second now. Ella's craft room? Someone get her link there for, sorry. Um, Ella's, Eileen, I am who I am. That is who I am. I am who I am. If you don't like me, that's too bad. That's what I'm saying. I don't change who I am for anybody. Thank you, Eileen. Create with Ella. Duh. <laughs> Create with Ella is Ella's stream. So go ahead. Go on over there. I just have to date this page. And then we're going to get something to eat. I'm going to get another new clean. Put that in a baggie. Yay, J. 
Jen. Woohoo! That was me a few years ago. Got the right meds. <laughs> and I became me. I am me. <laughs> Eileen. <laughs> Thank you, Carla. <laughs> All right. I got to put the date on here. I'm going to use my... Um, where did they go? They're sliding all over here. Bosca pens. That's the 21st today, is it? 21st, right? Thank you very much, Juju. Thanks for coming. Thanks, LJ. Oh, Ailey, A Allie, her halo's been tarnished for years. Just saying. Oops. So it is the 21st of March. <laughs> okay, CB, see you later. Well, I have to, I, I'll have to come, maybe I'll come and stream tomorrow. I'm going to get up. I'm going to do a little bit of work in my closet to try and finish sorting through that. Because April 9th, we have a, oh, oh. I gotta go clean my hands. <laughs> um, we have a crafty yard sale on April 9th. So I want to be finished in this room by then. And I'm going to hopefully have a... It's $10 for the table at the yard sale. But it goes to the church. So I don't even really care if I make $10. bucks. i am just going to put stuff on my table for $0.10, cents, $0.25. Cents, unless it's a really nice stamp or something. I'll put couple of bucks on it but um I just want to get rid of stuff I have a whole bunch of chipboard those shaped chipboard albums that I have to get rid of that I'm getting rid of because I haven't used them so I'm just gonna put uh they were a buck I'm gonna put 25 cents on those we'll see <laughs> okay Eileen <laughs> Thanks everyone for coming. I'm gonna save my stream.